Do you have a heart for children and education? Would you like to serve in your local community's school? If that sounds like you, you may want to pay attention right now. Many opportunities for substitute teachers here in our area. And joining me this morning from EduStaff tells how you might get involved is Regional Director Leslie. Good morning, Leslie. Hi, good morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting us be here. Absolutely. Well, it's a need. And it's something that many people may not realize they have an option to do absolutely if they have a calling for that how do you find substitute teachers who, who walks through your door or picks up the phone actually all walks of life um, want to be substitute teachers which is uh, great um, so really a lot of our substitutes are uh, men and women in the community who have a passion for education maybe they've been a youth pastor or they've run a youth group at their local church um, maybe they're a former educator who life circumstances change their lives they are no longer in the uh, classroom and they want to come back and so it's really anyone who has a passion for children who wants to really give back to their community yeah, basically that's that sums it up if you have that, if you have the heart or the desire to do it there's probably a space for you oh absolutely um, again our, our, our classrooms there's such a high need um, I can't stress that enough and um, we offer training free training that was my next question yes. it, many people might be thinking do I need to go to school to teach school no absolutely not we offer a, a, a two-hour amazing workshop we host them um, um, in this area um, every Tuesday at Kent ISD um, and so we provide that training believe it or not about 75 percent of our sub pool do not have a background in education wow. um, but we feel if you have the passion and the heart and you again you want to give back to your community we can train you and what are, what are the typical needs for a substitute at a school district I mean how, how big is the need for this well the need varies I mean you have your day-to-day um, -day absences where where someone, a teacher might be attending a professional development. Um, they might regrettably have a bereavement time that they have to um, be off of school. We have those long-term assignments, maternity leaves, mm -hmm. or if someone has to have surgery. And so the need can be, again, just daily absences, um, or it could be a long-term, anywhere from six to eight weeks. And when we're talking teaching, how what grade levels are, are we talking about? Just elementary? We're talking all the way up to high school, We're college? talking K-12. 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 Okay. K-12 public schools. We do have some early childhood programs that we participate with, like GSRP had start and whatnot mm -hmm. um, but primarily the k-12 programs have the have the most significant needs and you said it was a two-hour class now is if to become a substitute teacher is is it's two hours and done <laughs> and, and you're up I'm sure there's more involved yeah there than is that. more thank okay. you for, yes thank you for pointing that out really the it's all starts by going to our website okay. edgestaff.org you uh, click on start an application mm -hmm. There's a misnomer, I think, of what it takes to be a substitute teacher in the state of Michigan. A lot of people say, I don't have a teaching certificate. Right. You don't need a teaching certificate. Um, the state just recently reduced the credit hours. You need 60 credit hours okay. from an accredited university, college, a community college, and on your behalf, we'll apply for a substitute teaching permit so that you could sub in any K-12 public school in the state of Michigan. Mm -hmm. That's one component. And the other component is you would need to be fingerprinted as a school employee. Um, a fingerprint series um, but again we help you and walk you through all of that so it all starts by going to our website it's interesting to hear that once you've got that accreditation through that the, once you get those hours that you can you don't have to teach in just one district you can pretty much go anywhere no absolutely um, I mean we here in Kent, we here in West Michigan we have all the school districts Kent ISD Ottawa ISD Allegan going further no north as well and so absolutely you can pick the districts that are close to your home or maybe they're districts you just have a passion for and you want to make that little extra drive as well absolutely and you said a little extra probably a little extra income for these people as well it, for it someone is, looking for supplemental it is and that's what's kind of nice about this is you can make this a part-time job you can go in and your schedule and you can say I'm only available Monday Wednesday Fridays um, maybe you're still taking classes but you don't have class on Tuesdays and Thursdays it's a great way to make income and it's a great way to gain experience if you're going into education mm. uh, criminal justice family studies psychology it looks really good on your resume absolutely yeah that's something that people might not be thinking of it's not just for retirees These no. are the, the, the oh, college no. age students that are coming up this could be a great outlet for them to get like you said a good resume builder absolutely excellent well if this is you if substitute teaching right for you they're looking for people and I think maybe you should pick up the phone it's toll-free 877-974-6338 or the website but as Leslie mentioned, with all the information, any questions that you may have, probably answered at edustaff.org. And remember, kids, if you're watching, if you're homesick, be nice to the substitute teachers. <laughs> yes, please. please, come on. Give them some respect. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leslie. Thank you. I had to put that in there. That's okay. They never seemed to get enough respect, and I was the worst culprit when I was in school.